Hello there everybody, this is Ryan again. It's been a little, a little while. This time we're just gonna do a boring video of grinding the new forms. Now that we got limit form, we can get everything up to level 5. And limit form itself, it's something nice to train, because dodge row is very very useful. For form training, you really want to use the Oath Keeper, since it gives us form boost, so our forms will last longer, which is very useful. And for limit form, it brings abilities from Kingdom Hearts 1, especially the limits, which hence name the form. Sonic Rave is the first one. Stride Break, Stride Braid is the third one. This one is Lazar Cannon. Laster Cannon, that's right, and Ragnarok. Sonic Rave, Laster Cannon, it's named Arzar Cannon in the English version. Stride Raid, and Ragnarok. The rest are regular abilities. If I remember right, this two is about letting Sora use Guard and using Guard mid combo. Since you got no square attacks, you can just Guard instead. He also got Ripple, Ripple Drive, the finisher for many enemies, Zantetsuken. Zantetsuken is, I think, it, the last one, no. Anyway, I never remember the order, but since they were equipped at the same time. Oh, Reflect Combo, this is one for Guard, Mini Combo. Reflect Guard, Guard itself. This one is the Zantetsu Counter which allows us to use Zentetsuken after guard in an attack and this one I'm not sure which one it is Slap Shot Slide Dash Arrow Sweep and this should be then the name of the Arrow Finisher then anyway actually this one should be Zentetsuken Ripple Drive and Hurricane Period. That's all of them. It's a very nice form. It really brings a new, new action to the table. Do take note that Limit Form has the HP gain ability. Hits that you cause using the limits will recover your HP. It has its own draw and its own lucky lucky ability. Not to mention MP Rage and MP Haste. So, with MP Rage and HP gain, use a limit, recover HP. Let yourself get hit. MP Rage, recover MP. Now we got more MP to use the limits. As you can see, they are very expensive 60, 75, 65, and 80. So, until late game, you probably won't be able to use more than two. Okay, let's show some limit form action. To train limit form, you must successfully perform one of those limits. The limits will substitute your magics. Like this. And they also be in the shortcuts. The nice thing is, they will always be in the same place in the shortcut. And don't do some mistake I just made. Let go of L1 once you trigger the limit from the shortcut. So you also have to constantly go back to the save point to recover your MP. Every limit we use triangle for the reaction command. And there brings limit form to level 2, and my drive gauge is running out. So let's recover it since we are here anyway. I think it recovers faster like this. Yeah. 
this takes a little while. Okay, we got it. But since there's a time limit for the mushroom himself, I don't want him to disappear on me. Oh, I forgot. Mid farm requires four dry gauges, not three. No problem. We recover it. There we go. For this one, you really want to mash the triangle button very fast. Now for Ragnarok, on the other hand, there's only one reaction command that interests you. It depends on the time you take to charge. If you are too fast to get the shoot reaction command. Not that fast. You get some other kind of shoot. And lastly, you want the I think it's impact. And the third one is the Giga Impact. The Giga Impact is the only one that gives you experience for limit form. But after Giga Impact, it returns the shoot reaction command. So it's the only one that actually requires timing for, for you. All the others can just mash the button and the limit will complete. However, for actual training, I was kind of wanted to show off, but I prefer to use Ragnarok from the distance because every hit you cause to the enemy will cause the right cage to drain faster. So this way I avoid hitting the mushroom, my limit form will last longer. And makes things quicker. Of course you don't have to do this, you can just beat up the mushroom and use Sonic Rave or Strike Rage non-stop. Oh well. When I'm in the mood, I just just try to vary the limits. Okay, that does it. And save point trick. Actually, if you're playing normally, you have more fun leveling up limit form as you fight enemies. Since all you have to do is use the limits, much like Valor form, it's some experience that's gonna come naturally. Okay, seven more usages of limit. We also got dodge roll level two, and Sora not only got auto limit, which happens to be the only auto form. That's useful. And he also got that row. We're gonna work on that later. Dodge row really makes things much easier in this game, especially against the new fights. To get the timing right for this one, since the reaction comments change too fast. Once I see the first change, then I react and try to press triangle. By the time my reaction is complete and my finger presses the button, it changes to Giga Impact already. However, if you have a trouble with this timing, just use any of the other three against the mushroom itself. 
the only required. Stage was so broken in the original game. I think everyone abused it at a point or another. It wasn't too expensive on the MP department. It dealt great damage and granted Sora many iframes. So for limit level 4, we also get an extra draw ability for Sora. Oops, not here. I won't take chances. Oh. Why am I mistaking the buttons tonight? How many more usages we need? 18. Alright, that's quite a number. Since limit form doesn't require you to use any partner to drive, regular players will want to abuse it against the Thousand Heartless battle. It's a great point to level it up. I mean, you have plenty of enemies to spend your MP and recover your drive gauge. However, at level 1, that can be a little dangerous. Yeah, yeah. It starts to get a little boring and annoying eventually. But really, it's worth your efforts. God Roll level 2 for regular Sora is very useful already. Yeah, I don't have much to say meanwhile. I mean, I explained all about limit form already. As you can say, Mushroom 5 is a very nice training ground for a number of things. Oh, something nice that I don't think I've mentioned. While under limit form, your ship cut changes. If you have any magic on the shortcut, it will be replaced by one of the limits. However, the limits are replace the shortcut through their positioning, not on their magic. So if on triangle, say, you got any kind of magic, it can be cure, it can be thunder, it can be blizzard, it doesn't matter. If you have any magic on triangle, you have the Ars Arcanum limit replacing it. If you have any kind of magic on square, that's for a strike raid. Any magic on psycho is sonic raid. And any magic on axe is Ragnarok. This is important because if you have an item, the item will stay in the shortcut because the limit form can still use items but not magic. This should be almost done already. Four more executions. Nice. So let's execute the other limits. Sonic Rave on Cycle. Strike Raid on Square. I'm not gonna wait for my MP to charge. Do take note that, unlike Kingdom Hearts 1, we do get iframes for the limits, but they don't last as long as they did in the original game. 
So you can easily get hit mid Sonic Rave or Strike Rave. There we go. And that concludes limit form training. And my cell phone is ringing. Who might that be? Okay, really sorry for that. I really had to answer that call. It was almost good news. I'm kind of looking for a job at the moment, and while well, not exactly a job opportunity that appeared, it's something that might open me doors to a new job. So yeah, that's all nice and good. So dodge roll level three for limit form itself, and dodge roll level two for Sora. It's very, very useful, really. If you're playing Final Mix and not using Dodge Roll, you're doing it wrong, really. Trust me on that. So, let's try in Valor Form now. Since it's all about hitting the enemies, don't forget to keep your Oath Keeper. Try to avoid finishers. Since they take too long, don't get many hits in, and they eat your drive gauge fast. Uh, like I said, try to avoid them. I also prefer to use aerial combos because they're faster. Once you get air combo pluses later on, it's something to equip since you'll be able to land more hits and oops. You'll be able to land more hits. Whoa 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 whoa! My drive gauge! Run! Whew, that was close. Form should not take longer than two visits, I believe. I forgot to check the experience, but oh well. As usual, drive before engage in battle to have zero chances of going anti form. I mean, you want to train your forms not to go anti. Take note how each input of yours so reduce two attacks, one of each keyblade. So, if you want to make the most of your time, don't just mash the button here. Oh, come on. I don't want to make another run. Ah. Patience, I guess. Oh well. It's also interesting to level up Valor Form because it gives high jump level 2 for a regular Sora. Whoa, we're still a ways. Nothing like taking a nap, huh? Jeez. There we go. As a matter of fact, it's very interesting to train all your forms here. 
It brings all the growth abilities to level 2. From level 1 to level 2, they make a really big difference. So you should really consider training them, really. And for a wisdom form, say hello again to the land of dragons. Mm, just change Goofy to not attack. There we go. Mm, shortcut seems good enough. So you see. You might want to consider waiting until you're done with Halloween Town to train Wisdom because you're gonna get Magnet there if you remember right. The problem with magnets that cost too much MP. So it can be something not nice for a wisdom form. However, it might be helpful since the enemies here love to run away. Even though we have some gauge, I don't think it would be worthy going to the cave. I'm also short on MP, I can't just thunder spam against them. So yeah, this one's gonna take a little while. In a regular playthrough, since you get stronger, killing Heartless won't be a problem. In fact, if you level up regularly, you might consider using the Timeless River windows. Those windows, if you go one after the other, oops, not yet, enemies will keep on respawning. So, it might be useful. And you got the door to go back to Disney Castle and get your drive gauge restored. Okay, that was bad. There's too many of them alive and I brought out of MP. The shadows may be the weakest heartless, but the fact that they keep going into the ground makes them hard to kill. Jeez. This one's gonna take a while, I believe. Or maybe not that long. Oh well. If you got Magnet and Ethers to spare, well, you can just use Magnet and Thunder, Magnet and Thunder, and Ether and Rhymes and Repeat. I guess maybe I'll try the first enemies here. Okay, that's enough. Not much luck. With Magnet though, they become much easier to handle. Yeah, I know this is getting boring, but I think it's fair to record the grinding on my Let's Play. After all, I'm playing the game. The Remember, before engaging in battle, go into dry form. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, that was actually good. Too bad I'm low on MP now. Oh well. Come on MP, get back here. There we go. I'm not too sure if killing enemies with reaction comments counts in favor to wisdom form. Something that I always wonder but never had the patience to verify. How much longer? 40. Okay, just one more run and we'll be done with it. I know it's boring as hell, but training your right forms will make your overall gameplay much easier. If you don't have the patience, at least get dodge roll, really. I know I read said that, but I think it's very important to remember that. And we are done! Finally! Die you! Whew! Glad we're done! Alright, since we still have some time, I think we should take some time to money grind. And a good place to get money. The Cave of Wonders. And its wonder of ability to have a completely different look in each Kingdom Hearts game it appears. High jump level 3. And quick run level 3. And the level 2 versions for Sora. Okay, we don't need the Keeper anymore. I think I'll go back to the Kindle Key. Actually... Give me the Star Seeker. Oh, and Goofy, you may attack again. Almost forgot about you. What the? Take that, you! Jeez! Ah, well. That was some combo! I kinda forgot that I sh we should wait for direction command against those guys. What's... What are these people all of a sudden? Hmm. I'm starting to miss Magnet here already. Um... What was that? Okay, let's do something different. Do nothing. It works! Doing nothing actually works! I'm impressed. Okay. Hopefully, I won't die now. 
Do nothing. Just wait for the reaction command. Or maybe not. Jeez. If I were too proud, I'd probably just take this off, the video in the end, but... Finally! I mean, didn't I this many times when I first played the Agrabah? Jeez! Uh, where are the enemies? Wasn't there supposed to be fortune tellers here instead? Well, at least the fiery globes and the icy cubes can give me... Oh, there they are. Frost and blazing gems. What's a fiery glow? Oh boy, no, get out, get out. I'm not taking chances. Not with these guys, no, thank you. It was so much easier to farm for money on the first visit. Good thing the video games are meant to make sense. Have you guys ever practiced, like, dodge rolling? It's not that it's difficult, it's just something that you can't do non-stop, like Sora can. Your shoulders will get many bruises if you keep on dodge rolling non-stop. Oh no. No, 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 no. I said no. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll give up on money farming this way. I don't have ma much, but... I guess that doing nothing is the best strategy against regular enemies. Ah, uh, no, not you guys again. I'm off here. What? Even the... How they can be so close to the entrance like that? Guess I'll find you guys here on the outside. Seems much safer. Ouch. Yeah, the one that gives me the most money didn't die. Okay, now we're talking. I guess that dying at least resets the enemy's appearances, so yeah. No, don't want to. Let's see who appears down here. No one? I really don't understand these changes they make with enemies' appearances. Is 
They said doing nothing seems to be the safest choice. Okay, maybe not. Oh, not you guys again. I'm out of here. Okay, enough of all that. Yeah, enough. Dodge road to the rescue. Oh, I well, was screw money. I got tired of this already. Okay, we got all the farms drained. We got a little more money for whatever's to come on Halloween Town. And this concludes it. Now I just have to put the two videos together before my phone call and get this uploaded. I hope you guys didn't get bored to death watching this. And until the next video, see ya!